YouTubers and Instagrammers. It's your girl Global Curls coming at you with day three of eight days and eight products with Up North Naturals. So I'm really excited to continue this journey for you. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And if so, please comment below and let me know if you have any questions or which products you would like to see next. So just as a recap, from day one and day two, I reviewed the TLC Replenishing Conditioner as well as the Clean Curls Cleanser. I talked about both the ingredients in them, how I use them with my hair, and what I would give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So make sure you go ahead and watch those two videos. Now it's time to move on to day three and I think it's something you all will enjoy because I hear a lot of people saying well which oil is best for me, what does it do, how can it help my hair, so on and so forth. So today I am going to be breaking down the third product that I use in my hair with the Up North Naturals collection and well let's just begin. All right, so if you're like me, a naturally stud, you're a product junkie maybe a little bit, you're really keen on the ingredients that you use in your hair. If your hair is colored, then you're extra vigilant because you don't want your color to come out obviously too quickly. But this product will help you restore your hair from dry to oily to color treated hair. This is great for all hair types. And right now it is one of my favorite natural hair products. It is the Up North Naturals Eight oil blend right here it says for dry hair however I would not consider my hair dry so while they have that on the label I did want to just make that reference however it is made up with 100% natural ingredients so basically again that means no mineral oil no parabens no synthetic color or synthetic fragrances this is 100% natural phenomenal for your hair am I right Okay, so I use the 8 oil blend as a part of my deep conditioner regimen. So I use their TLC replenishing conditioner. I applied this with it for an 8 oil blend, put my hair underneath a thermal hair care cap for about 20-25 minutes to have a nice deep conditioner and then I went ahead and rinsed it out. So there's a couple of ways to use it. You can use it as a deep conditioner, which is what I just did, what I mentioned. You can also use this as a pre shampoo treatment. So after a wash, before styling products. And then you can also add this, just a small amount. And I really, when I say this, I really do mean dime size, you guys. Not nickel, not the Sacagaweas, no, dime size amount of this to your hair because you don't want to oversaturate your hair with a lot of products that will A, weigh it down so you won't get the nice big fluffs. And then also B, you just definitely don't want to wear your hair down because your hair is probably going to be around your face and you don't want your face extra oily. Okay, so I bet right now you're like, all right, Adele, I get it. Eight oil blend, it's nice, it's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what is it going to do for my hair? Well, no worries because I did some research just for you guys to tell you all of the benefits of this eight oil blend. So really quickly before I begin, I'm going to tell you all of the ingredients that are in it and then I'm going to run through them all and tell you the benefits. So we have coconut oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, neem oil, jojoba oil, lavender, rosemary, and sandalwood essential oil. So those are the eight oils found in here. And so now it's time for me to tell you, it's time for me to tell you just how great they are for your hair. All right, let's get started with the first, and it is coconut oil. So I have my little handy dandy Up North Naturals note card right here to tell you all of the greatness about coconut oil. So again, if you're a naturalista, then you probably already know how great coconut oil is for your hair. It's found in, actually in a lot of different products out on the market. But if you don't know, the coconut oil protects against heat. And yes, you might be like, okay Adele, but I'm natural, I don't put heat in my hair. Not even just when you're blow drying your hair or straightening your hair, but heat you might actually be putting when you're using a deep conditioning, you know, maybe with your thermal heat hair cap or a specific blow dryer to make sure your curls are getting all of that moisture sucked into it. So it protects against all types of heat. It also boosts hair growth and regrowth. So coconut oil is definitely a key player in the natural hair game. game. It's also huge in a lot of products and it can be found in a lot of Up North Naturals products as well. Avocado oil. Now sadly I cannot eat guacamole. It just doesn't work out for me. However, avocados are great for your hair. And please let me rephrase when I say, I don't mean go and smash up an avocado and then just put it in your hair. Avocado oil. And so now let me tell you the benefits. It actually rejuvenates and moisturizes the scalp. So you'll apply it to your hair and it actually helps your scalp. 
also it is packed and I do mean packed with proteins and vitamins to increase hair growth so again avocado is a great essential oil and one of the eight sorry eight that is found in the natural eight oil hair blend by up north naturals all right number three grapeseed oil now this is quite interesting i have seen grapeseed oil in a couple of the ingredients lists on a couple of my different hair care products however i haven't really actually researched what grapeseed oil does so this was definitely beneficial for me and it's going to be beneficial for you because i'm about to tell you what grapeseed oil does so grapeseed oil is actually better for dry hair and not just dry hair but it's lighter than olive and coconut oil so if you're looking for an oil that's light that's not going to weigh your hair down too much but will give you some great benefits grapeseed oil is actually the better oil maybe out of the three to go with and furthermore it's odorless so while I don't know about you but I love me my coconut oil because it makes my hair smell amazing but if you don't want that if you have other products that are putting different fragrances in your hair and you're just like all right Adele it's just too much I need a great oil on my hair but it has to be odorless because if I have another fragrance I'm gonna have somebody try to eat me I completely understand and so grapeseed oil is packed with these great benefits it's odorless and it's lighter than the olive oil and the coconut oil so definitely a great one to have on your shelf next one is neem oil and for if you don't know how to spell it, it is right here for you n-e-e-m oil and so this one is great for as a cure for scalp and hair problems and actually as a fun fact it was used as a traditional medicine for someone's face to decrease acne and redness and puffiness around the eyes so that's a little greatness to have with your hair and your skin a great oil because sometimes certain oils you put on your face and it's not gonna do the greatness it does with your hair completely understand so neem oil is actually a good one to have on your shelf for both hair problems and skin problems. If you have it on your shelf, please let me know because I would definitely love to try it out, not just in my hair, but on my face as well. So let me know your thoughts below. Hey hair lovers, it's an oil, one of your favorites. It's the jojoba oil. Like coconut oil, jojoba oil is found in a lot of natural products out on the market. It has some great benefits. A lot of you definitely say, okay, it's either coconut oil, olive oil, castor oil, but a lot of you say, yeah, jojoba oil is the place to be and so actually jojoba oil for those of you that don't know is not an oil per se it's actually a wax ester that comes from a certain shrub and then it nourishes your hair follicles to stimulate growth and make your hair longer so it's definitely a popular a favorite amongst the naturalista gangs and it's definitely one of my favorites as well so now we're going to get into some essential fragrance oils that make your hair smell amazing and it's probably the reason why people think you have on a certain specific perfume. If you're like me and you have a lot of great products in your hair and they all smell phenomenal, then you'll know when people say, what's that smell? It's you. Why do you smell so good? What perfume are you wearing? And it's a great response to say, I'm not wearing any perfume. It's just my hair products touch down right so let me tell you about some of the ones that are found in the up north naturals eight oil blend first up is lavender now if you don't know lavender actually improve, improves blood circulation promotes hair growth and also prevents hair loss so if you're noticing that your hair is starting to shed a little bit more than normal lavender is one of the best essential fragrances oils to put in your hair secondly rosemary rosemary stimulates hair growth so after you put the lavender in you're gonna go ahead and put the rosemary in and besides stimulating hair growth it actually treats dandruff and dry scalp so if you notice that you have a little dandruff which is completely normal no one shaming you you can go ahead and use a little bit of the rosemary oil apply it right to your scalp if you want to get a small little bottle i'm sure they sell it at the walmart stores or better yet just go ahead and get the up north naturals eight oil blend that's packed with these great Great essential products ingredients for your hair then you can just get a little nozzle and just apply it to your scalp this is probably best used for a deep conditioner with your deep conditioner which is what I use when I use the eight oil blend so definitely a great one to have after lavender and rosemary you have sandalwood 
sandalwood promotes luscious long hair and as a fun fact it helps cool down the scalp so i was like what do you mean cool down the scalp what what does that even mean i thought my scalp was great i didn't even know it had a temperature right so basically what they mean when it says cools down the scalp is that it provides some intense moisturization to your scalp and so after a deep conditioner this is great sandalwood to just follow up on if you after you take out the deep conditioner after you take out any oils and whatnot you can just put a little bit on your scalp if you would like to just to cool down your hair your scalp it also is great for removing dandruff again if you have dandruff and it adds a fragrance so if you're looking to have a certain fragrance in your hair or something at all if you use other products in their fragrant list or odor list then sandalwood is great to put on your shelf as well okay so i hope you guys enjoyed my little breakdown of the essential oils eight oil blend this again is what it looks like from up north naturals it's a beautiful four ounces again it says for dry hair i don't consider my hair to be dry however it's always great just to have an eight oil blend in your hair at all times during all seasons especially for people who live in cold climates windy climates girls who have just transitioned done a big chop and also if you have color treated hair like mine because it provides the nutrients that might have been stripped or are being stripped from your hair if you have color so definitely a must-have on your shelf I'm really excited to have it on my shelf shout out to up north naturals for creating this amazing blend of oils and I hope you guys enjoyed this product review please let me know your thoughts as always down below and subscribe to my page talk to you tomorrow and of course stay tuned for day four product eight days and eight products with up north naturals